Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today's video will be another introductory look into my vegan journey. I've explained in a video why I went vegan. I did a grocery haul from Thrive Market. I talked about five things that I have noticed since going vegan when it comes to food prep. And now I'm just going to do a walkthrough of my fridge. Because I'm going to be doing recipes on this video, I think it's very relevant to know what kind of ingredients I tend to work with. So let's see how my fridge looks about seven, eight weeks vegan. So let us start from bottom to top because that's how we grow, right? So this is my first produce drawer. It's pretty self-explanatory. I have some produce in here. Mushrooms, basil. I always prep my fruit. I have some grapes, tomatoes, green beans, and in this bag is actually some dough for the sweet potato gnocchi that I made a couple of days ago. It turned out pretty well. I didn't record it, but I might do a video on it another time. I didn't need even like a quarter of it, so I put the rest in here and I'm going to shape them all into some gnocchi and then freeze them. This used to be my meat drawer. I have some romaine lettuce, broccoli, I think this is tomatoes. Nope, plums, ooh, plums. I have one right now. I have some ears of corn and I have some carrots. Free floating larger produce items here and another bin of basil. I like to make pesto. Tomatoes, celery that I use for my vegetable stock. I tend to otherwise not really eat celery. Cilantro, but I usually just give that to my rabbit. And some scallion. On the other side, I have these really great baskets that I got from the dollar store. This is all of the fruit that I haven't prepped yet. So I've got some cucumbers, red onion, which I'm, which I'm loving these days. I put red onion in pretty much everything. I've got some lemons, a loose grape tomato, and a couple loose pieces of broccoli. Back here, I have a half head of red cabbage and some washed and stripped kale. This is just a bin that needs refilling of Aiden's fruit pouches. This one just has an organic apple, organic mango, organic yellow carrot, organic apple puree concentrate, organic peach, ascorbic acid to maintain color, and organic lemon juice concentrate. There are zero added sugars. Here are some prepped green pepper, but I actually just used a bunch of it for dinner tonight. That's why it's not really in here anymore. Same thing, I have some cut up red onion in here that again I use for dinner, but for some reason didn't feel a need to take these last like 12 pieces half onion piece holder with a half piece of onion in it. Then I've got my berries. It's a bit lean right now, but this is usually filled to the brim with washed fruit. I don't know what these are. Maybe you know. I got them in last week's Misfit box and I forgot to... This looks like it's gone bad, so I'm actually just gonna throw it out. And as I'm saying this now, I just remember they have that Google Lens thing and I could probably just take a picture of it and find out what it is. So I'm going to do that before these go bad. Cans here, again, no sugar or natural flavors added. Spindrift is the only brand I'm aware of that doesn't include additives and sugars in their flavored sparkling waters. Carbonated water, grapefruit juice, orange juice, lemon juice, and hibiscus for color. And it says no sugar added. I don't drink sparkling water, but Nick does. I have this little bin that I have since separated into dairy and non-dairy. Lava brand Peely Nut Yogurt. This is unsweetened and actually good for you. Coconut water, coconut cream, plantain, Peely butter, which is made from Peely nuts and water, coconut powder, cassava root starch, lime juice, and Himalayan salt. I only buy products with clean ingredients in them. So no natural flavors, no artificial flavors, no sugar, no carrageenan, no maltodextrin. I mean, like there's a whole bunch of things that you don't want to have in your food, or rather I don't want to have in my food. And then I have two of these little cups. This is just a strawberry flavor, and it's actually derived from strawberries. Coconut water, coconut cream, strawberry, plantain, pili nuts, coconut powder, cassava root, lime juice, Himalayan salt, and live vegan cultures. Hummus. I made hummus like three days ago. I used four cans of chickpeas and the hummus was gone in like a day and a half, which was really disappointing because it's not no work to make hummus. I can't find a hummus that I like. There is one brand, the Hope brand, that makes their hummus with extra virgin olive oil, but I really don't like the way it tastes. This tastes great, but it's made with expeller pressed canola oil, but it's at least expeller pressed, so I purchase it. I always make like 10 to 14 of these every single week. This is chia pudding. 
it looks really pathetic in here because this is Layla's chia pudding. She loves it. She has this almost every single morning and I mix it with fruit, but that's why there's like nothing in there. I, have, I don't know if I have a chia pudding recipe on my channel yet. I have one on my old channel, Uptight Curls, but I'm in the process of transferring recipes over. A lot of the recipes on my channel, because I wasn't vegan at the time, they have both dairy and meat. But just a heads up, I am going to be transferring those over because my other channel is a hair channel and the food products just don't belong there. Non-vegan things don't necessarily belong here, but this is live natural, it's not live vegan. On the other side, just I'll mention it in case you're not vegan and you're interested, Greek and 100% grass-fed or the same thing, grass-fed, grass-finished yogurt. Just to note, if you're buying something and it says grass-fed, that does not mean that it's grass-finished. And when it is not grass-finished, that means that any of the nutritional gains that you're getting from eating grass-fed dairy or drinking are essentially removed. So you wanna look for grass-fed, grass-finished, or 100% grass-fed. Like regular Parmesan cheese. This is my bread bin. I don't keep my bread in my bread box because it tends to get moldy. Sprouted grain bagels. Clean ingredients, and the only bagels that I have found, uh, Dave's Killer Bagels. Those also don't have sugar or anything in them. But this is sprouted grain, whole wheat, berries, organic unbleached wheat flour, filtered water, barley malt, organic cultured wheat flour, organic vinegar, sea salt, yeast, organic whole wheat flour, enzymes, and ascorbic acid. So these are like the cleanest bagels you're gonna find. Or at least these are the cleanest bagels that I have found. And the fact that they're sprouted grains, these are just easier to digest. Ezekiel bread is sprouted grains and sugar-free, lots of nuts and seeds, and just a really good bread to have. Some dough from my um, homemade flatbreads. I just have one left here. Thrive Market organic coconut wraps. These are really, really good. They don't taste like tortillas, so the first time you have it, you might not like it. My first bite, I didn't like it, but then it grew on me by the second bite. It's an interesting taste because I've never eaten anything like this. I mean, it's a wrap, but it's also made with like turmeric and it's yellow. It's not very malleable. I don't want to take it out because they're like wrapped individually. I would recommend it. If you want to give it a try, get these from Thrive Market and maybe you can better describe them. And the last thing in here, I'm going to really wrap this up. These humongous Siete tortilla chips. All of Siete's products, I believe, are really, really clean. Water, cassava flour, tapioca flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, arrowroot flour, apple cider vinegar, coconut sugar, sea salt, and yeast. It also tastes, to me, like a tortilla, but it's also been a very long time since I've had a real tortilla, so I might not be the best judge. This shelf I'm just gonna fly through. These are some of Aiden's leftovers. I've got some of my pancake mix in the back, my vegan pancake mix made with whole wheat flour some of my leftover lentil curry. I was making zucchini lasagna last week and I had some zucchini leftover, so I just put it in here and also some scallion. So I just have been throwing this into my cooking so I don't have to throw it out. And then I've got a bowl of some washed grapes. And also some water. This Lazy Susan. I have walnuts in here, flax seeds in here, and chia seeds. I realize I skipped a shelf. This used to be my butter and lemon holder, but now I don't use butter. I actually haven't found a clean vegan butter. I use avocado oil if I need a fat. Lemon holder, just egg. I made a fantastic fried rice with this earlier this week. I think I recorded it, so that video will be coming up. I have a little jar of some leftover pickled onion, and then I have a banana that we're kind of working through. Some leftover sprouted grain brown rice that I have on hand in case I want to make like a rice bowl or something. And then above that, I have a cooked squash. Then I've got another Lazy Susan, cashew nuts, hemp hearts, some leftover of my homemade tomato sauce, and this is just leftover coconut cream or milk. I don't remember which one, and I'm really annoyed that I didn't label it. This top shelf, I'm not going to review. These are the non-vegan items that I'm just kind of storing up here until we get rid of them. No soy, island teriyaki. Everything from Primal Kitchen is really, really clean. This is a fantastic teriyaki sauce. I put this in my barbecue mushrooms earlier, th earlier this week, and it was just really, really great. I'm not gonna read the ingredients for everything in my fridge right now, but this is really clean. Then I also had a barbecue sauce from them, sugar-free. Some sauerkraut, which is really, really good for your gut bacteria. 
I love this. I got this from Costco. This is mixed nut butter with seeds, almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. And it just tastes so good. It's unsalted and I find myself having to add salt to it. But once I do that, it's fantastic. I buy either 24 or 12 of these milked nut products every few weeks because I do smoothies probably five days a week. And also I use this when I'm making my chia puddings. And as I said, I make like 10 to 14 of them. So I use a ton of beverage, very clean, filtered water and hazelnuts. The only thing is that they are not organic, but everything can't be perfect. This on the other hand is really great. It's organic. It's also sprouted um, nuts, I think. Filtered water, organic sprouted almonds. Yeah, organic vanilla flavor. Again, not artificial flavors or natural derived from the vanilla bean and Himalayan salt. The only thing is it's not shelf stable and I kind of need my nut milks in bulk. I can't purchase refrigerated items in bulk for obvious reasons. This is that pesky bone broth that I've mentioned in a few of my videos that I still need to get through. So I've been using these in some of my curries. I hate to do it, but I'm not throwing out like six perfectly fine unopened things of bone broth. This is just for cooking. I have organic Italian herbs and organic spicy harissa. Chopped garlic, tomato paste that I put in everything, unsweetened organic ketchup from Primal Kitchen, some spicy mustard, more sauerkraut from Bubby's, cabbage, water, and salt. I know I have sauerkraut above, but this one's not shelf stable and I bought it accidentally. Pickles, it's cucumbers, brine, which is water distilled by vinegar and salt, jalapeno peppers, garlic, dill, habanero peppers, and grape leaves. They're okay. My favorite pickles are actually the Bubby's pickles but I haven't been able to get those from Whole Foods for like a month at this point. Veganaise, some sriracha, spicy harissa, miso paste. The last thing that I actually skipped over. Vegan and non-vegan. Plant-based smoked gouda. And I also have the same brand, plant-based cheddar. I think that one is actually in my garage fridge. Filtered water, expeller pressed coconut oil, modified potato starch, modified tapioca starch, sea salt, olive extract, natural flavors. I do lower the bar a little bit when it comes to fake foods because I understand you cannot get that Gouda taste out of the items that I just mentioned, but I always have it on hand in case I want to add some kind of a cheesy flavor to something. I've got four things of tofu in there, two extra firm and one regular. Tempeh, Miyoko's Creamery Cultured Vegan Cream Cheese. This is the savory scallion one. This actually tastes really good. It's organic cashews, filtered water, organic coconut cream, sea salt, green onions, white pepper, and cultures. Violife shredded cheeses. Filtered water, coconut oil, food starch, modified uh, potato and corn, but I think this is non-GMO. Yes, non-GMO. Uh, sea salt, cheddar flavor, vegan sources, olive extract, paprika extract, and beta carotene for color, vitamin B12, and powdered cellulose added to prevent caking. I also have their mozzarella. I haven't tried these yet and I really need to, but these are the vegan chow slices. I don't know what chow cheese is, but I guess we'll find out. Then just to note for how I store my tofu, I did use some of it earlier this morning. Before I use them, I use a tea towel to squeeze out the excess moisture and then I end up just storing it in the tea towel and I always use it within the next couple of days. And then the last item that I have here is this Violife just like Parmesan. And you know what? It's just like Parmesan. I use this, I mean, like the way I would use Parmesan. I put it on pasta <laughs> along with nutritional yeast and I'm actually shocked at how good it is. So they have Parmesan flavor from vegan sources. So that's how they get it. I hope you saw some items that you might be interested in. I wanted to just give you a little insight into the kind of items that I am purchasing now that I am vegan. My fridge is normally stocked with essentially these items plus or minus, you know, a few here and there. And as I find interesting new ingredients, I will definitely let you know, and I will continue to bring you recipes using these ingredients. I have a ton of spices and I have at least just a bunch of other products that I could share with you. But that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. I'm going to have two other videos for you on the next screen. If you like my content, please consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thank you and have a good one.